We have all seen an article or meme that seems crazy or unbelievable. There is a lot of misinformation out there. It is possible that a claim or fact could be false or misleading. There are tools you can use to sort through misinformation and identify what is real and what is fake. Misinformation can be dangerous. You can help stop the spread of it by identifying it. So, we are going to watch about the how to spot misinformation online. Method 1. False or misleading articles. First is pause and be skeptical about new information. It's okay to be doubtful about information you are sharing. Don't just scroll by accepting it as fact or share the information without exercising some skepticism. Step 2. Verify the source and date of the information. You can check image dates by doing a reverse image search on Google or Bing. The image metadata will also hint at when the image was created. Look up the information at the source to see if it was actually published there. Step 3. Check to see if you can tell who the original author is. If an article or information doesn't list the author, it's a sign that it could be false or misleading. Find out who wrote the information by looking up the article or searching for their name. Step 4. Search online for the information in other sources. For instance, if you see an article about a wildfire in the rainforest, search online to see if other outlets are also covering it. If only one place is reporting something, it's a sign that the info could be false or misleading. Step 5. Watch out for info that triggers a strong emotional response. Misinformation is often designed to make you feel angry, sad, scared, or just plain old upset. If you spot a claim, article, headline or any other info that causes you to feel a super strong emotion, be wary. It could be a sign that it. Finally, read the text for sensational language or loaded terms. Keep an eye out for insulting or offensive language. Good, quality information will be presented professionally and use clear, direct language. Method 2. Fake memes and images. First is double check any quotes to see if they're accurate. There are a lot of memes that feature a quote attributed to a specific person. Run the quote through an internet search to find out who the actual author is. If it doesn't match the meme, then it's likely misinformation. Step 2. Look up the claim on a fact checker site. Not every meme or claim that gets shared around on the internet and social media has been covered by a fact checking site. Read the description on the site to figure out if the claim is true or misleading. Step 3. Zoom into an image for hints about the actual location. Use clues in photos and images to help determine if the information claimed is accurate. Look for details such as the language on street signs, license plates on cars, flags in the background or any other clues that tell you where the photo or image comes from. Finally, do a reverse image search to find out when it first appeared on the web. If an image is being circulated like it's new, then it's misinformation. Search engines like Google and Bing allow you to paste an image's URL. You may also be able to tell where the image originally came from. Method 3. Bots or Fake Accounts First is check an account's username for random letters and numbers. If a user's handle or screen name has a random string of letters and numbers in it, it could be a sign it was generated by a computer program. Look for the profile name of the person posting the information to see if it looks fishy. Step 2. Read the account bio to see if it matches the user's activity. 
Most social media accounts have a small bio section where the user includes information about themselves. Take a look at the bio to see if it matches the person and the content they're sharing. If it seems off, it could be a fake account. Step 3 Find out when the account was created, if you can. Some social media platforms include the date an account was made on the profile page. Find out if it was made very recently. If it was, it could be a fake account generated to spread misinformation. Step 4 Do a reverse image search on the profile pic to see if it's fake. Stock image profile pictures are a major clue that the profile isn't a real person. Use a search engine like Google or Bing to upload the profile picture for an image search. Finally, look at the user's activity to see if it's suspicious. For example, if the profile posts constantly, 24 hours a day, it could be a bot. Take a look at the profile's timeline. If they post at all hours of the day, posts from different parts of the world, and includes polarizing political content. It. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.